welcome everyone to this new video tutorial about networking with Unreal 4 advanced session. I'm going to open our to-do list and in the previous video we just did set server name and get server info and we should move on on multiplayer lobby logic but before we do that I wanted to add some more some more information about the server and stuff like that so we're going to do I, uh, actually we're going to, to read to improve the serv get server info so I'm going to save and close I'm going to open up our project and we're going to be right back at it uh, so what do we go what are we going to need we're going to need the number the number of players currently in the session uh, we are going to implement as well a refresh server list when you browse them so actually we're going to do that in the first place. No, we're going to add uh, the number of players. So we want our widget, I suppose. We want our server entry. So right there, we want to copy paste. We want another, we want another text. So yep, like that, but we want that to be something. It would look, it will look like something like this we want that to be on the right so that i suppose that is going to take all the empty space no so we're going to say we want that mm, i'm not quite sure what happens there okay that is on on the fill option we don't want that that on the fill option because it's filling all the all the space we get as you can see we want that on auto and we want that on the right, we want that on the right as well. Uh, why is it not going on the right? Uh, well, I'm not sure why. Feel? What's, what's happening, guys? What's happening? I don't want that to feel, I want that on the top right of my bar, of my horizontal box. Well, I think I just need to put that on fill, but I want that to fill only 0.2 space. I want that on fill. I want that to take 03, 04, 05. That's not clean, I know. 06, 07. And that should do the trick. We get a spacer in there, we get that, I'm going to reduce that as well. No, because it's not going to do what I want. Well, I think, I think, okay, that's what I wanted. Well, that's not clean, so I basically said that feel, that feels, that feels, but only 0.7. But I think you can do your own setup. I just added a, a, num a number after all. So that is going to be the settings number of players. And we are actually going to copy paste that once more. Yep, I'm, I'm going to reduce the size of that text. Yep, so we have more room to do what we want. But I'm doing crazy stuff and that's, that is doing some things I don't want. I'm just going to say all that is going to be on automatic and we're going to be good with that. I'm going to add some space in between just we can see what's going on. So we get a number of player, excuse me, we get a number of player texts and we got that this is going to be the ping. Of the server ping texts and that is going to say 21 milliseconds let's say that is going to be of the size 20 that is on the size 24 fine good um, I think we are good so is the text variable yes is that one also yes so when we're creating that I think we can we can just get our health session. So I'm on, on the even graph of our server entry. I'm getting our health session, and I think we can get ping, get ping in milliseconds, get number no number of players, get 
get current players. So we we are going uh, can we say get max get max players? So we are going to say hey number of player text set text. We are going to build a string out of the int build string prefix suffix we want as a prefix why wait what well actually i don't want that i want to append and that's all so i just get i, I just got an append so we want something that says hey this is the max the, the current number of players over the max number of players pretty easy, easy setup and what do we also want we want the ping in milliseconds. I'm just going to copy paste that to avoid uh, having lots of wires everywhere. We want the ping text. We want to set that. We want to set that is text as. Likewise, I want the append. I want that. I don't want the last pin, and I want milliseconds. I'm going to, and I think it's going to work right away. So it play, host a multiplayer game, hope I'm going to expand, Yoon's game, create. I'm going to browse online games, and I'm going to browse online games, and it's saying one, one player over five, I can join. And if here we can see one player on five, 22 milliseconds, I can cancel, I can browse online game again. And you, we, can, we could see the thrower going in and out. Yep. And I can see there's two players now, two players now. I can join as well, and I can browse online games. And it's going to tell me there's three players. Yeah. And so that works. That's ugly, I know, but... Uh, I hope you do your own setup. I'm just showing how you can do it, obviously. And what can we add to that? What do I want it to add? A refresh button. So when we browse online games, so it, it, uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to browse online games when you are already in a session. That's why I quit it before I finished the, the session, the, the searching. It, sh it will just fail, I believe, but we don't want that anyway. So we are going to add a button to refresh the server list in order to, to see the number of players being refreshed on the fly. So in our out game menu, actually in our, in our interface, in the server entry, no, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Where did I put that? I, I want our, my out game menu. Where is that? In the out game menu, maybe? Window, maybe? So out game menu. We want to add another button that is going to be before our previews. This is going to be the re refresh button, the button refresh servers. So it's going to be refresh server lists. It's going to call some events here and there, maybe activate the shrubber. So what do we want to do? We want to bind on events on clicked. And on clicked, what do we want to do? We want to remove the server entries, the current ones. We could update them well, but since I have an event that this, we, we could get the list of sessions and update their current values, but since we have a, a system that already spawns them and destroys them, I'm just gonna, gonna reuse the system we, we created. So I'm, I'm deleting all the entries and then I should perf per perform a new search, I believe. So delete entries, perform search, client, client wants to search. And what does that do? If I hit play, I'm going to host, I'm going, oh, why is it? I, I think I didn't set the proper anchor for the main server box, no, for the create game box. Yeah, my anchor are all fucked up. 
So you can see the anchor is on the top left of the screen, so it's not scaling properly. So I'm just going to scale that properly in order to be able to host easily. So, yep, that should work, guys. Oh, we're back at it. We're back at testing features. So I'm hosting a game. It's called Yoon's Game. I'm going to create this one is going to browse on like game this one as well so we can see there is one player and there is one player this one is going to join the server he's joining and this one is going to refresh the server list it's searching and it's refreshing properly we can join that's wonderful we can browse online games There are three players, wonderful. It, show, it seems to be working pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe we can add one more little thing that you should like, I believe. Well, actually, that's quite a lot of work for not a lot of reason, for not a lot of stuff. Uh, I wanted to add something to select like a, a game mode, like a game mode when you create a map maybe you would like something like that but it's quite a lot of work basically I would add a scroll widgets a scroll box uh, no actually not not quite a scroll box what will I use for that I will use what would I use let me check what I what I have so it's like something you can click and choose like a drop down box well basically I will have added a drop down map box with several entries of game mods uh, like we did the entries of Windows focused we did an enum I would have done an enum with the different game mod I have and there I would have shown the different game mods when I would have clicked the drop down menu I could have chosen the game mod by clicking on it obviously and then when you create when you create a game basically you give the information of the type of game mod using a, a string for instance and when you host a game you pass the parameter all the way to the game instance you create a new pin a new property and a property that will, you will use of course rename that game mod server game mode for instance with the proper name linked to it and then and then basically when you create that when you create our server entry you will add the text there and bind the text so uh, well I, I could have done it uh, pretty much uh, as fast as I told you guys but uh, but I didn't made all the all the system in my head uh, when I started but uh, I believe you can do that uh, on your own now because I don't need uh, that functionality in my game I believe so that's going to wrap the wrap things up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one mm, bye bye